Here at Newport on the Levee, non matinee tickets cost 10 bucks. If you want a medium popcorn and medium soda, another $10. That means the average family could end up paying $80 for the night at the movies. That's not cheap, and that's forcing a lot of people to ditch the box office and head home. Internet expert Dave Hatter of Libertas Technologies downtown says he prefers, no surprise here, Netflix. I was converted because we got a free trial with my kid's Xbox 360. And I was just kind of flipping through the menus trying to understand how it worked and what it did. And when I found all these old TV shows, and I can, like I said, watch Rockford Files or whatever, and just the sheer amount of stuff, it's incredible. I mean, you hit a button and suddenly you're watching the show. This town deserves a better class of criminal. This is the last movie Dave says his entire family watched together, The Dark Knight, which came out last summer. Dave, a busy married father of four, says nothing beats Netflix when it comes to convenience. You can watch it on a computer if you have one, and it's cool because you can start the streaming, stop it, and go elsewhere and watch it somewhere else in the house. So it's super convenient whether you want to get the discs or not. You are paying a monthly fee, so if you don't watch any movies in the month, they got their $7.99 or $9.99. I'm sure you've seen these around town, probably the last time you were at a grocery store like Hyde Park Kroger. Redbox is the newest to the movie rental game, but it's growing quickly. Around here, there are 161 of these kiosks. The first one popped up less than five years ago. It's cheap, a buck a day, and the kiosks are easy to find. Including Kroger, they're at some Walmarts, Walgreens, Myers, and Remke Market. But they offer far fewer titles than Netflix number of titles that can be dispensed to these kiosks is substantially less so you're typically going to have access to maybe only a couple hundred titles max and generally they're only going to be newer things if you have more esoteric taste you want older movies you're not going to get that through Redbox. Even though Blockbuster recently announced it's shutting down a bunch of stores it's still in the game there are thousands of stores across the country dozens here in the tri-state including this one here in Newport in fact Blockbuster has been in the movie rental business longer than Redbox or Netflix. I think they're a dinosaur. I think they came to this party late. You know, they were heavily invested in all these brick and mortar stores. They have a huge infrastructure out there. They've shut a lot down. Uh, you know, they were in the old model where you had to go to the store and get something and bring it back and have late fees and all this sort of thing. Blockbuster is getting into the kiosk game, but doesn't have nearly as many as Redbox. Blockbuster also starting to stream video, but Dave says not as well as Netflix. But when it comes to an array of titles, Blockbuster is unbeatable because of deals worked out with movie studios. Movies these days, people are more likely to wait and see. As families downsize and try to save money, they're also more likely to downsize the screens on which they watch these movies. Rob Williams, Fox 19 News.